I have previously broken the epigraph equation and I am angling it up towards the face of the patient or capillary and I can see this, these two stretches if this is one and this is the second one. Now, this is the right hemidiaphragm this is the left hemidiaphragm, this is the spleen, and this is the liver. Now if someone asks you a question, why this is not a spleen and why this is not a liver, the reason is that uh, in this, at least this portion of the spleen that you are seeing, there are no uh, vessels as you can see in liver. Liver contains uh, hepatic veins, as well as portal vein radical. This is a portal vein radical. This is a hepatic vein radical. You will not see. Uh, the whole of the spleen will appear as you are seeing uh, in this view, partial view of the spleen. So if uh, you get both liver as well as spleen in the epigastric region, by placing the probe in the epigastric region, and uh, uh, moving it uh, a bit catheloid, keeping it there, this is suggestive of the phytosuplenomagali because spleen at least should not be realized in this, in, in this area. So as I now move the probe oddly, I come across, am I going to magnify and I come across the pancreas in transfer section. With power obstructing the wheel though, little again. Yet the other Puna will take one. This fan bed of tissue is the pancreas. This is the supinic vein, this is the aorta, this is the IVC, this is the superior mesentery vein, superior mesentery vein, these are the bowels. Because you can see, you see that this uh, same bowel segment becomes longitudinal. And this is the pancreas. So, Head of the pancreas, liver, left lobe of the liver. Now the liver shows diffuse increased parenchymal epigenicity with mild post texture. Outer surface is smooth, but uh, yeah, the ecogenicity is raised, diffusely raised, and that is the reason that you see this area black. And uh, secondly, there is coarseness in this liver. The liver, this is the left portal vein. This is the left portal vein. Ascending part of the left portal vein. So the liver does show coarseness. Here we are. Left lobe of the liver in longitudinal section. Same appearance, though a bit irregularity of the outer surface. Ligament luminosum. I will see quadrant lobe of the liver. Now this view is helpful to see if there is any periodic plan lymph node. This is the aorta, this is the spirit mesenteric cartilage, celiac axis and no lymph nodes are seen in this region nor there is any lymph node seen in the region of the porta hepatis. This is the porta hepatis. Where you see this, the portal vein, this is the common part that is in transfer section. We are like the muscles, they just have to go. This is the right lobe of the liver. And 
this is the this is the uh, this is the border, this is the four vein, this is the right hand diaphragm, there and uh, this is the kidney. This is the kidney, normal, no focal lean seen, there is no fluid above the diaphragm rules out any uh is not present. So this is the status of the liver. The hepatic veins, lumbar sanspital. The hepatic veins are not dilated like this that they've been in such a situation. <coughs> as we see in bird carry syndrome.
follicle, this is a dominant follicle, males 14.7 cm. Now these are the right iliac vessels. These are the right iliac vessels, no adenopathy in this region, no ascites seen in the dependent region or in the other region. Now these, these, these are the left iliac vessels, these are the left iliac vessels. So no adenopathy in this location. This is the source of the muscle. No pathology relating to the muscle. Now this is the aorta, proximal aorta. And here we are at the level of L45 of glycus. And uh, what is this? So this is a case of the pedocytinomagaly where the possible differential that you can provide is one, granulomoitis, number two, blood dysplasia, three, autoimmune, four, collagen vascular disorder, number five, idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura. So we will need some investigations, further investigations to look out the or to come to the accurate cause of uh, the patient's pathology. Liver disease with supinomagaly. 
for which further investigation is going to be made. See, this is a spleen. When I place the probe in the epigastric region and move the probe for capillary and towards the left, I get the spleen, more of the spleen. This is total spleen now. Now, when I go towards the right, right side, angling the probe towards the patient's uh, right shoulder, I get the liver. This is the liver. And again, now when I move the probe, laterally towards the patient's left shoulder, I get the supreme. So this is how when the supreme is massively enlarged, yeah, you can you will see all these structures with both and we have together in ultrasound.